Hi, this is Tyler Kemp with GA Precision. Today we're going to be filming an extension basically to the Gladius video we did last week. We're going to shoot it today. Uh, this is a short, solid gun. It packs a punch, but it has low recoil thanks to the Surefire brake we have. It can reach out to 700 yards comfortably, further with other calibers, although it will be loud with this short barrel. A Remington 700 action is used, but it's customized in the shop. It feels a lot better than a factory action. A Bart line barrel that's 18 and a half inches at the end of the muzzle adapter is used. We have an adjustable Manners T2A stock. Uh, it accommodates pretty much any scope you want to put on the gun, depending on what you want to use this rifle for. It's 10 to 11 pounds, 39 and a half inches overall length, and it's $3,950 with no options. Here we have a Crusader that we're going to compare it to. You can see this Gladius is just, it's a lighter, shorter, handier weapon. We guarantee this to shoot half minute of angle, which we're about to show you next. We have a magazine of Black Hills 168 grain hollow point boat tail bullets here. We're going to shoot a group at 100 yards. This camera's going to stay on me. It'll give you some viewpoint of how the rifle handles and how it recoils. The Gladius performed very well. We got this five shot group. It's probably close to a tenth of a minute of angle, so it easily beats the half minute of angle accuracy. The short barrel does not hamper accuracy at all. This is a very short, easy to handle weapon, and it still shoots groups like this. With the fundamentals of the Gladius covered, we will now run through individual components and show just what makes this gun great. The Gladius is based off of a Remington 700 action that has been completely true to blueprinted, and a side bolt release is added. Extra attention to the 700 really makes it feel like a different action. Upgrades are available, however. Changing to GA Precision's Templar action is an additional $460, while a Surgeon 591 option is $640. A Badger 20-minute rail is attached to the top of the action, and Badger 30mm rings are included with the rifle. Remington stock Xmark Pro trigger is retained with the 700 action and tuned to 2.5 pounds with a clean brake. For an even crisper feel, a jewel trigger upgrade is offered at a cost of $265. The Gladius's T2A stock from Manners is well suited for multiple positions, which accentuates the pointability of the weapon. Texture on the grip panels is subtle, yet enhances control of the rifle, especially in adverse conditions. A KMW loggerhead cheek piece is standard and easily adjustable with an Allen key. There is one sling stud at the front of the stock for bipod attachment and two pairs of flush cups on the bottom and left side for a tab sling which is included with the rifle. A rugged Badger M5 bottom metal is inleted into the stock and uses AICS magazines, extras of which are available when ordering a weapon. Every stock is also pillar and skim bedded for the most consistent mating surface between action, barrel, and stock. As well, the barrel is completely free floated to avoid any interference. At the business end of the rifle is a short Bartline barrel which is 18 and a half inches in length including the Surefire adapter. Twist rate is 1 in 11 and a quarter with 5R rifling which can increase velocity and decrease cleaning effort. The adapter doubles as a muzzle brake to reduce recoil and as a quick and easy attachment point for a suppressor. We have a miniature silhouette set up at 300 yards. I'm going to put three rounds on it and show you what this Gladius can do at a mid-range scenario. yards there's absolutely no sweat for this short barrel someone looking to shoot 500 and further a lot the gladius might not be the rifle for them but we're gonna show you at 500 yards it'll still hold its own particularly if you note that we're shooting off a bipod and sandbag here
A little bit off center, but still an okay group, especially for this short barrel. We have five targets at 400 yards. They're descending in size. We have five rounds in the magazine, and we're going to try to shoot them in order. Uh, there is a touch of wind, so if I miss, it's most certainly my fault and not the guns. In this extension of last week's video, we shot the Gladys at 300, 400, and 500 yards. We showed you with a couple groups that even though it is a short barrel, it's still very accurate. And then on a more practical target setting, we shot these descending size targets at 400 yards. As we got to the small popper, you can see not only is the gun pretty maneuverable as we move from target to target, but it's also very accurate. I hope you enjoyed the video.